If you're just joining us, my name is Jeff Hogan. I'm joined here by Matthew Vamonte. We're going to be heading on into our, our final two cats that have been wrangled into the feature match area and are going to be queuing up into each other here momentarily for a Naya Winota Mir match. Now, while these are the same archetypes, they are not the same deck lists for the finals. I'm going to head, yeah. head down on in here. One of them has a very cheeky Agent of Treachery in the main deck. Yeah, a couple different, uh, different pieces of the puzzle here. There's... You mentioned the Agent of Treachery, and then their sideboards are quite different. So. Another another thing worth mentioning here is that uh, Phoenix of the Ash is a card that uh, our uh, one of our Winota players is playing. That's kind of unique. Yeah, Zach's playing a couple, and Zach is Artorius, I believe, up there. So. Yep. One of one of the big things that stands out to me in my mind about these mirror matches is that um, Zach on the bottom here does not have any copies of Red Cat Melee in their seventy five. And yep. I think I think that's a bit of a mess. I think that's something something you're going to want to change moving forward. Uh, how many red cat melees is Christ on? Do you know? Uh, looks like three. Three. Okay. Yep. Yeah, three and three baffling ends. All right. Well, this hand looks like it's shaping up really well. Yep. For, and, uh, and honestly, baffling end is a removal spell. I think I have in the Naya Winota sideboard on my website. But honestly, with the mirror match in mind, I might be swapping those to uh, was it Justice Strike? The red white instant speed creature deals damage equal to itself. Yeah, Justice Strike is good. The only problem you run into is just with with uh, Vanguard, but like that's just like how it goes sometimes. Yeah, I think having having you want a plan for this Winota deck if you're going to be playing Historic. Like it is not a mistake that these two decks are meeting in a mirror match in the finals. This archetype was um, it was about ten percent of our starting field. It was five out of our top eight deck lists. It was seven out of the top fourteen. Really, really, really consistent performance from it here today. Yep. And we're gonna see Fauna Shaman get to do get to do some work here. Yeah, Fauna Shaman gonna be able to activate. Uh, get we're gonna, one of these Marauders. We're gonna probably. cash in one of these Marauders and get a Winota. But it is worth noting because there's two Marauders and a Hactos out of Crow's deck already. Their triggers on this Winota are gonna be a little bit less powerful than they otherwise could be. Yeah, for get, sure. Gonna need to high roll here. Yeah, same Artorius on Artorius is into the bottom there. Needs a land to, to do the thing. So, see what happens. Who does their thing better? Winota gonna gonna join the forces up here. Is it even worth Winota? Swing yes. and a miss. <laughs> Swing and a miss. And again, we mentioned that you know, like while that feels unfortunate, and it is a little bit unfortunate, at least, but definitely to miss on both. Like they're missing two Marauders, and they're All missing. Right. A Hactos out of their deck, and we we speaking of unfortunate, swing and a miss on the bottom here again. Um, both of these players obviously having their cumulative variance for making it to the finals of this tournament catch up with them. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely what it is. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, here's the thing: if this one Noda misses on the top again, well, they get the three. Game's over. They get three tries this time. Yeah, they get three tries this time. If they if they don't kill them though, we're done. The opposite way. All right. They get to play a spell right. 18, eight, They bottomed 12 misses, and they've got 18 more shots here, Matthew. We'll see. I bet they hit at least once. All right. Survey says. Whoo! 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 Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Well then, it. yep, yep, no blocks. Go to three. All right, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. No play your ziggurat. Oh, All right, triggers. E sports so ready, chat. Naya Winota is e sports ready. Oh, crap. All right, that's not very good. That's not very good. All right, there we go. See, this is why, this is why Zach on the bottom was our last undefeated Winota player. God. If you, if you want to be the last undefeated Winota player. You gotta, you gotta hit like this, chat. This is, this is what I'm talking about. Oh the old negative ninety nine, negative ninety nine. You love to, you love to see it. <laughs> Heading to sideboarding here. Oh my god, that is, <laughs> that was awesome. I can't believe that happened. Alrighty, you know. And as we mentioned here, Matt, Matt mentioned a couple of interesting sideboard cards from Zach on the top. <laughs> really, really, kind of feels like they're short on cards for the mirror. 
Yeah, it's like uh, I, I don't even know what to say after that. I, I gotta recompose myself. <laughs> we that see Crows cool cutting a land again. Yeah, is that like a common thing? Yeah, I, it's I not something that I've been doing, but it's it's interesting. What, what's their land count to start? They've both done it. Actually, it's twenty five and twenty four. So. Uh, which one is Zach G, the one with the Fire Prophecies? They have 25 lands, and then Eric has 24 lands. Okay, so they're so cutting a land aggressive. on 24, which is aggressive. I think cutting on 25 is probably fine. they they both cutting a land, yeah. Yeah. They both cut a forest, which is interesting. Oh, man, I'm... I'm so happy that happened. This tournament has been like watching a Yu-Gi-Oh cartoon from the early 2000s. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've activated my trap card, Winona summons. Someone says it reminds me of Aetherworks Marvel Standard. It does kind of feel like that where you spin and it's like, all right, if I hit, we're good. If I don't, I'm dead. Oh, man. That was so good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I, think, I think they got sideboard bugged. So again, for those that are unaware, um, this is technically a feature. So what's happened here is one of our two players boarded in cards that break their companion rule, but they didn't remove their companion. So Arena's technically let them leave the sideboarding screen, but the deck they've tried to submit is illegal. So the whoever did that will be playing their main deck for game yep. one. So rather than Arena letting you know that the deck you've submitted is illegal and saying, hey, fix this, it goes to this screen. You have to wait for the screen to fully tick down and then let's find out who messed up. Whoever has a companion still messed up. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's who it is. Let's get you a good Watch them both have companions still. All right, Artorias, the game winner. Okay, Zach. Zach on the bottom failed to uh, failed to cut their companion. Let's see. Let's see if it matters. No, nah, this hand's great. This hand's great. I feel. I feel like that's a good PSA for people. There were a lot of people talking about they couldn't figure out why yeah. that was happening to them, and I had never had it happen to me. Turns out it only happens when you mess up. Do you actually like both these hands? Like the the hand on the top. Do I like both these hands? Um, I am not a huge fan of the keep on the top from Crost. I think uh, Zach's hand is super serviceable. I do as well. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. All right. Fauna. I think you actually just Vanguard here. I would Vanguard and then War Boss to try and maximize my chances to draw a Winota naturally. That's fair. Did you see how Zach ran last game? He's going to draw that the Winota. Is, that is. He's got, he, he's gonna, they're going to draw the Winota, Matthew. <laughs> play play the Vanguard. Yeah, like you also kind of want to play around Stomp if you can, I guess. A, when we were kicking around names for this Naya Winota deck while we were brewing it on stream, Naya Slot Machine was definitely something that uh, definitely something that's come up. Yeah. You have uh, you have Hactos, which is a gambling mechanic. You have Naya, which is a gambling mechanic. Yeah. All right. Well, Here, here's a question for people in chat: When was the last time a Naya deck was tier one? God, I don't know. There's ever been feather. One I was feather playing. was like close-ish, like not really. It was that feather was competitive. Yeah. Do you have to go all the way back to Naya Blitz in original RTR standard to get a tier one Naya deck? Sorry, never played that. Doesn't exist. N Naya Blitz was definitely a tier one deck. I don't know what it is. So it must it must have been awful. There was a pod deck. Naya Blitz was post pod, though I believe. <clears throat> oh, nice red cam melee is good. Yeah, uh, Zach continuing to shock with stomping grounds rather than play rootbound crag is an interesting decision. Mm. Remember <laughs> when Wild the Coddle was banned in modern? I do. God, I do. that's when I first started playing modern. Actually, quite it's impressive. Too, too strong. Well, okay. right. and uh, Krost suddenly very far ahead up top here. Here comes Winota off the top. So we get to play the Shaman. Whoa. I guess we're not that far. We get to play the Shaman and stop. Actually, I, I lied. Zach, Zach's ahead on the bottom. 
We get to yeah, play yeah. the shaman, stomp the war boss, and then next turn we shaman into a Winona and Winona. Yep. Boy, the that's good. Health total advantage that Crost has though is relevant because both players have a Danto Vanguards though. Yeah. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Why did we not block the 1-1? One, one? What, what are we playing around there? I don't know. Nothing, right? I think so. There's another Shaman. Wow! Okay. Winota doesn't have any single hit that really I mean, drags wait. you kicking and screaming out of here, right? I would say we should wait here, right? Unless there's something I'm missing. I almost, I almost wonder if... I feel like they should have gone Shock in the Land, play Collector, play Second Fauna Shaman this turn. That's what I was and then And then happen. you set up a good defense, and then next turn you find the Winota and attack them. That's that's actually what I thought was going to be the line there. And the, and the, the fact that uh, we didn't eat the 1-1 one, one for free here is a decision that could snowball on us too. Yeah, and this is really bad. I feel, I feel like... Uh, Artorius had the tools to win this game here, and if they don't... Well... I mean, it's just a brick, like... Yep, it's another brick. He's certainly getting out of this turn a lot. So, like, they can, they can send in the idiots. They have the ability to Vanguard to protect themselves. Yeah, Zach, Zach might get bailed out here. Especially if, like, Zach rips a haste creature next turn, three Winota triggers is very likely lethal. I mean, he's, yeah, and he's got the Legion War Boss hanging out on the bottom. Oh, he has a Haste Creature. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're super right. Has it rolled up already? Wow. So if uh, the top attacks with everything, we get to go eat, block, a 3-3. Three, three. I guess you attack with everything, so you eat the War Boss, trade Vanguards, go to 1. And then yeah. you have to hope that your Legion War Boss and your Fauna Shaman with Winota kills them. Yep. Yep. It's tough sledding, but I mean. Jeez. All right. This is six exactly if you block just the war boss, so can't do that. It's actually seven. Yep, so you gotta gotta do this. Go to two. Yep. And All then right. you're hoping and, and actually the going to sixteen there is gonna make it easier for these Winota triggers to kill them, so I'm not yeah. sure that I love I love that line. Yeah, I think you gotta let it go. So it you sucks, go, you but... go, you go. War boss, make your token, attack with everything, get two triggers. Uh, Marauder is lethal. Are, actually, what, what? this is gonna sound a little greedy. Are they able? To, I was gonna say, are they able to do this plus play shaman and stay alive? Is that something you want to do? Nah, I just, I just high roll marauders. You got twelve shots. Right. Hit me, dealer. Let's see, see, Matthew. <laughs> They were the last. Easy they, game. they were the last undefeated Winota player. Easiest game of my life. Easiest <laughs> game they've ever played. Okay, okay. Love it. You just gotta believe. Negative forty-four. You just gotta believe. And just oh. like that, heads explode, and a Nio Winota player is born a champion. All right. Well, congratulations. That was uh, that was good. That was fun. Let's take a, let's take a peek here. Just to just to wrap up on some some data again. If you're interested in checking out all the information that we have here, um, you can find all of this on on the Hoots Hoots three page on Melee. This is the standings. Let's scroll down here on archetypes and get this bad mamma jamma refresh. So, just guy just guy Luca fires was 20, 28 entries with twelve almost thirteen percent of the field. Still had a very good win rate, right? Like we had yeah. we had a fifty six percent win rate. Naya Winota, just under twelve percent of the field, had an absurd win rate. Yep. Yeah. Seventy percent is and, not real. And, and this is this is something that if you look at this here, this metric over here, the post sideboard win rate did not go down. 
which to me, I feel like says people didn't respect this deck. Yep. Yeah, that's like the big takeaway, right? Is like these these decks, they're not exploitable, I don't think is the right word, but they're beatable post-board uh, if you come with the right tools. And it seems like people might just not have had the right tools, but that's kind of expected for like a first big tournament with a lot of unknowns, although like I would notice like pretty known quantity. So Back of the envelope math says it was approximately a 72% win rate for an Iowa Nota when you remove the mirror matches. Sure. Yeah, mirror, mirror matches with a, with a deck like this is going to drag the win rate back down back down towards towards 50. Yep. Well, and you see someone in chat commenting they had four Red Cap and four Storm's Wrath. I actually don't think Storm's Wrath is really respecting the Naya Winota deck. I don't, oh, I don't so. like, having just a couple pieces of spot removal isn't good enough. I think if you really want to respect the Naya Winota deck, you want probably 150% ways to kill Winota that they have Winota. So six, six to eight ways to kill Winota at instant speed post-board is probably about the floor of where you want to be. That's going to be it for us for today, folks. Thanks, everybody, that hung out through the broadcast. We're going to have a match highlighted from every round of this tournament up on my YouTube channel later this evening. Remember, if you want to get that discount at CoolStuffInc.com on some Ikoria paper staples at 10% off, use that code OPEN3. Good through the remainder of today. Uh, I am going to be taking tomorrow off since we were live for most of the day. I will not be on for my Sunday stream tomorrow. I will be back on Monday with lots of wonderful historic action. Big shout out to my co-host, Matthew Ramonte for coming on and letting me cast wonderful fun matches all day today. Everybody stay safe wherever you're at out there in this crazy world. For today only, CoolStuffInc.com is offering 10% off all Icoria.